Israel's Prime Minister is getting ready for his speech to Congress in just about an hour from now. Good morning, I'm Miranda Khan, and this is your Newsmax Now update. Coming off his speech yesterday to AIPAC, Benjamin Netanyahu is expected to ask American lawmakers to put the brakes on a possible deal over Iran's nuclear program. National Security Advisor Susan Rice also spoke to the conference. We are keeping all options on the table to prevent Iran from developing a nuclear weapon. Some say the speech is once again highlighting the strained relationship Netanyahu has had with President Obama, a topic the president addressed during an interview yesterday. I don't think it's permanently destructive. Uh, I think that it is a distraction from what should be our focus. And our focus should be, how do we stop Iran from getting a nuclear weapon? Meanwhile, Secretary of State John Kerry is in Switzerland for more talks with Iran's foreign minister about the Iranian nuclear program. A deadline for a deal has been set for the end of the month. Some serious questions today about Hillary Clinton's emails. A New York Times report says for the four years she served as Secretary of State, she never used an official government email account. Instead, she used a private one. It's raising questions about security and record keeping. Clinton recently handed over thousands of pages of emails from the account. Thousands of mourners have been paying their respects at the funeral of a Russian opposition leader. Boris Nevstov was shot Friday near the Kremlin. There are reports that security cameras in the area were turned off for maintenance. Some of Nevstov's supporters suspect the killing was ordered by the Kremlin because of his criticism of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Fierce fighting erupts outside the Iraqi city of Tikrit as Iraq's, Iraq rather, tries to retake it from ISIS. The terror group captured Saddam Hussein's hometown last summer. Iraqi troops, backed by Iran and Sunni and Shia militias, have been clashing with ISIS south of that town. Reports, though, of roadside bombs are slowing their efforts. And Boko Haram is apparently now taking cues from ISIS. The group that has been terrorizing Nigeria has now released its own execution video. The men killed were forced to confess that they had been spying on the group for police. And things may look a little battered when the Cubs step up to bat during next month's home opener. Wrigley Field, the second oldest major league park in the country, is going through a major renovation. The record cold February slowed things down a bit, meaning it will still be under construction. Hopefully all eyes will be on the ball, right? I'm Miranda Khan. your next update coming up in about a half hour.